Hello, and welcome to Knit All the Yarn podcast. My name is Lisa, and I live in Michigan with my husband and my two girls. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as 72 Stitches. And this is episode 125. Got my coffee and my scrappy Sunday mug. Pumpkin spice creamer. And today is Halloween, so happy Halloween. This is my costume. I am a scrappy knitter. I just kind of came up with that on the fly like five minutes ago. I'm not big into Halloween costumes, but I'm like, hey, I'll wear my scrappy shawl, my scrappy hat, and I'll have my scrappy Sunday mug. So I'm a scrappy knitter. <laughs> This is a, this is my YouTube channel, I guess we'll just call it a YouTube channel, where I share my knitting, crocheting, and sometimes cross-stitch, whatever crafty thing I'm up to. If you are new, welcome, and if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. I've noticed an influx of subscribers, which is exciting, so thanks for sticking around. If you're, uh, if you're new, I hope you stick around. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Yeah, it's exciting. All right, this episode might be very, very short. I'm for reals this time because I've only really focused on one thing. I have lots of finished objects. I have four finished objects. Two of them are very teeny tiny, but I'm still gonna show them. And then I just have two whips. And I think this is the first time that I don't have a sock whip. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Cue the spooky music. Yeah, I don't have a fit. I don't have a sock whip this time. And I will, uh, I guess I'll share that now. Yeah, we'll share that now. So I finished a sock last yesterday and tomorrow is November 1st. So I, did not cast on a new sock because Desert Vista Dye Works uh, November cast on day is tomorrow. So I did not cast on another sock and my hair is really gonna mug me. So I'm, I'm sorry, it's very foofy and curly and I have clown hair. So sorry if I touch it a lot. So that is why I do not have a sock whip today but it's, getting, it's going to get cast on tomorrow. So don't, don't panic. <laughs> all right, um, you can find all the show notes right down in the description box. I'll have where you can find me, links to all of the things, patterns, bags, yarns, all that good stuff right down there. All right, sorry, I hit the box that my setup is on. <laughs> all right. Are you ready for the finished objects? These are big finished objects, kind of big-ish. I forgot to talk about what I'm wearing. We'll, we'll do this first and then we'll go back. <laughs> so this is Knit Picks Felici Ribbit. The heels and toes are in Knit Picks Strolled Up Heather. Um, I do 64 stitches, magic loop, cuff down, afterthought heel, 12 rows of two by two rib. And I think I do three, somewhere between three and five rows for the leg. I think it's usually four. Um, yeah, I use a US 1.5, which is a US 2. Point, not a US 2. Point, a US 1.5, which is a 2.5 millimeter for all of my socks. So yeah, they don't match, but I'm okay with that. These are for me. All right, pause for the finished objects. We're gonna share what I'm wearing. This is my, uh, I know everybody calls it a muscle burg, but it's not muscle burg. It's muscle, muscle burra. I think that's how you say it. I think I, I think I've, I wore this last week. Was this a finished object last week? I'm pretty sure it was. So I used all of Nomadic Yarn Scraps 
for this one. I'm not taking it off because my hair is, it's a hot mess right now, but I showed it last week where I undid it and I pretty much have two hats and one. I'm gonna put my hair back or to the side or something. And this is my Scrappy Dotted Rays by Stephen West. I really wanna make another one of these. This is my favorite part right here. I got some ends that I should, I need to snip. It's not falling apart, I promise. Pill in a little bit, that's okay. It's cause I'm wearing it like crazy. And then I did an I-cord bind off with the black and white stroll, which Gives it a little bit of a Halloween vibe, a little bit of Beetlejuice vibe. So yes, that's what I'm wearing. Oh, and I have, I have Halloween socks on. Here's my Halloween socks. I think this is Haverlin yarn. I know it's Haverlin yarn. I'm pretty sure it's Great Pumpkin. I don't know, I made them a long time ago. Still holding up pretty good, probably because I only wear them Usually October, it's like hit and miss for my hand knit socks. Usually towards the end of October, I can wear them. So I have a bunch of Halloween socks, but sometimes I don't go through all of them. Or I'm not able to wear all of them in November is what I'm trying, or October is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> all right, back to finished objects. This one was not even a, this was in a skein last time I showed you. Yes, because I had a, a question about which ones that, what should I do, so. Um, I don't know, I didn't really tally up who won or which one was the winner. Um, I think a lot of people picked Desert Rose and I did not pick that, <laughs> so. <gasps> Two pairs of shorty socks. So these would have been a whip, but I went crazy. So this is Summer Nights by Knit Picks Felici. Heels and toes are also in Knit Picks Stroll Dub Heather. Same thing, 64 stitches, afterthought heel, 12 rows of two by two rib, three or, I think these ones I did three rows of leg. Yeah, so these are also for me. They also don't match, but I'm okay with that. Same needle, chow goo, cuff down, all that jazz. Oh, I love these. So those are my big finished objects. These ones I didn't, I didn't come fully prepared. That's okay. Oh, me and my hair. My hair's like, I'm free. <laughs> okay, so let's see. I was Aquila from the Lefty Knitter. I, we have like a little group chat with a bunch of podcast ladies. And she shared these and I believe she's gonna um, sell them in her shop. So I'll, if I remember, I'll try to link her Etsy shop down below. I believe it's Nitty Bow Fiber Co on Etsy where she sells, uh, she does hand cranking at service. She has a sock machine where she'll crank some of your yarn for you. I think her husband dyes yarn. She, last weekend she put in a couple uh, ball, was it ball beanies for your yarn, the yarn cozies. And now I think she's gonna sell mask lanyards. I think that's what they're called. She, she, she showed these and I'm like, I need to make my kids some of those. I'm at home all the time. So if I'm out, I'm wearing my mask and I'm not like out all day where I need to have something around my neck to keep track of my mask when I'm like taking my lunch break or whatever. But my kids, they need these. So I made some yesterday. It's a very, it's a very magical finished object, isn't it? It's very exciting, very exciting. So I just did an I-cord. I used a US-2, I used um, four stitches, uh, sock yarn. I think this is um, Lemonade Shop, uh, I wanna say Rainy Day. No, 
of positive. But yeah, I just cast on, I just did, I think I did like 24 inches. And I bought some lanyard hooks that I have to attach. Right now it's just on a stitch marker. So I gotta figure out how to attach these. Once they come, I was lazy and I just got them on Amazon. So I have to wait a few days. But yes, I made two. These are my gigantic, super exciting finish objects. So yeah, there they are. So I've put hooks on each side and then those will hook on the mask and then they can whoops put it around their neck and their mask will be attached and when they're done eating they can just put their mask back on i asked them because they're getting to an age where like they'll be embarrassed if they wear certain things so i asked them before i made these saying hey would this be helpful would you like these and they're like yes there's like pretty much all the kids have these and I'm like oh oops <laughs> they're like but they're store-bought ones these ones will be more special and I'm like that's right <laughs> so I probably will be making a couple more of these um, I plan on making them I have some Christmas scraps I'm gonna make them some Christmas ones it didn't take that long. It's pretty fast. But yeah, so I made an I cord loop. Finished object. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll show these again when they're done because the kids will probably have them and they'll be using them. And so, yep. So if I make more in the future, I'll have those lanyard things on me or into my possession so then I can. Uh, attach them because I could have attached them last if I had them in if I had them I could have attached those last night so they would have been finished 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 <laughs> so yeah yeah I didn't really have a pattern to that I just did I-cord for 24 inches I used my kids I put it around their neck and measured it and 24 inches seemed to be pretty good and then I got the lanyard hooks on Amazon, so we're just gonna wait. So that is all my finished objects. Finished objects, done. Whips, whips. Bag from Knit for Brains. Can you guess what's in this bag? This seems to be a bag that I use for certain items. <laughs> you guess what it is? <clears throat> so I finished this and I'm like, do I cast on another one? I think I said this in my last episode. I did. I just did it. I love the mindless knitting. I'm unsure about this. I'm going to keep it. I'm not going to take it out. So this is the Musselberg, Musselbera, however you want to say it, hat, look at this. So I'm, for this one, I'm going to use all random scraps. I have mostly mustache yarn and night owl, night owl fibers. I also have a couple, actually I just think I have one of Kirby Werby. So I'm just going to mix them all together for this one. This one is mustache yarns. Oh, I think it's the Woodstock one. I don't remember. And then I started, this was a Beatles one, where the stripes are a little, they're not as thick. So I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like that, but I'm going to keep it. This one was their Beatles, like the white album. I think there was a side A and a side B. I don't know which one this is, but yeah. That's... It's micro, micro striping, it looks like, instead of the thicker stripes. So, I don't know. I'm probably going to leave it. That's a hat. If I don't, really don't like it, I can turn it inside out, right? <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I got. Um, let's see, I used a US-3. My 
my Chogu interchangeables. Yep, US 3, 3.25 millimeter. I did, I'm doing the adult medium. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just scrappy all the way. So this is my, I'm tired, but I want to knit and I don't want to mess anything up project. <laughs> so this is just like, I've finished the decreases. I don't know when I started this, Tuesday? Maybe Wednesday. I don't remember. On Wednesday, I went through and did all the increases, and then I got to the point where it was just knitting. So I did not do this part in the evening. But yeah, so this is what I got. I don't know. Now that I started this, I have other thoughts in my head, so I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to. I mean, I'm, I am going to continue with this. I just don't know how much I'm going to get done. And I have to get a progress keeper. I do not have one on it yet. So yeah, that's what I got. And I'm probably gonna use the rest of this ball. And then I'll pick something else. I got lots of, this is the Kirby Werby uh, advent calendar from last year. I don't think she's doing one this year. I got a ton of like mustache hair and mustache hair and mustache hair and mustache yarn. So I have all of those and then I have a bunch of night owl fiber ones in there. So I might just, this one might be a little more colorful as you can tell <laughs> than this one. This is like my fall one and this will be my crazy one. Uh, yeah, what else? 16 inch ruler, ruler, 16 inch ruler, 16 inch cord. Coffee has not kicked it, kicked in yet, and I can't talk. All right. That is that whip. Now my last whip is my shellography. So if you don't want to see it, you might want to fast forward because I'm probably going to be talking about it a little bit too. I will let you know when I'm going to get it out. This is my Knit for Brains. Uh, I think this is our sweater bag. Mario. As you can see, I have a Mario theme bag. All right, let's set this down here. I'll show you how much I have a lot of yarn left. So clue four is where I'm at. And clue four was, um, you can bind off or you can do a border. And I'm like, border please? <laughs> because I have a ton of yarn left. So we'll go through this real quick. All right. So this one hasn't even been used yet. This is all Nick Picks Stroll. This one is Ash. And I better not set that on the box. This one is a Patina. I think I used some of this. Patina. And, nope, that's not patina. This is pucker. This is patina. Also, I have not used this any of this yet. So yeah, his yardage had like, I thought it was gonna be a very big shawl and apparently it's not because I have a ton of yarn left. That's okay, it might grow a little bit. I used a lot of my black. And here is white. Now white had, one of them had a knot in it, so I have this much white left. I think I used some of this. Well, yeah, look, I have a ton of yarn left. So that is my yarn. I'm gonna throw it back in my bag here, and then we're gonna get the shawl out. All right, we're gonna get the shawl out. Bye-bye, see you later, fast forward. All right, I'm gonna show it. This is my, whoops, this is my shellography by Stephen West. Let's see, do I have my, okay, look at my stoppers. And I have so many ends. They're all woven, woven in, whatever you want to call it. Look at that. So where was I last week? I was doing brioche, that's right. 
I was doing brioche. I finished the brioche and I did mess up, but I was able to fix it. I was so proud of myself. Look at me, I'm doing brioche for the first time. I messed it up and I fixed it. Go me. So I finished the brioche. I was able to fix all my whoopsies. So I think I was only like six, six rows in my brioche. I don't know, something like that. And then this, oh my word guys, this crisscross, yes. It looks amazing. It looks really cool, but it was a you know what to knit. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna try not to use swear words. But oh my, it was not fun to knit. Because yes, section, clue two was this, this brioche and this section. That was it. But this stuck forever. It's only. One, two, I think it's like four rows, but it took, mm -mm. when I had to crisscross these, I swear that row took like three hours and it hurt my hands. Oh, it hurt my hands. <laughs> so needless to say, I am probably never going to knit this again because of that section. I've heard people, um, which I didn't think about it. I wish I would have known to try this. Um, change one of your, if you're doing interchangeable, change your left one to a smaller needle. I wish I would have done that, <laughs> but I didn't. So I powered through and I hurt my hands and yeah. So that was, that was not fun. That was the only thing that was, I didn't mind the I-cord loops or the bobbles. Yes, they took forever, but they didn't hurt my hands like this crisscross did. So that's my only complaint. And the fact that I feel like it's not very big. I like big shawls and I cannot lie. So I don't know, I haven't blocked it yet, <gasps> but here's the border guys. Oh, my stripey heart. It makes my stripey heart sing. When I saw that, I'm like, oh, thank you, Steven. You all know I love my stripy socks, and this is pretty much like stripy sock knitting. I did mess up. I did mess up. Yeah, right there. And uh, somewhere down here, I was doing my make ones left and right incorrectly, but I, you know, I fixed it. I figured out what I was doing wrong. I should have known better. I don't know what I was doing. Anyway, so, and I'm unsure about this part. I don't, did I do that right? I feel like this should be black. I don't know. It's fine. So he said you can do them in any order that you want. So I just did A, B, C, D, E. I just went through that because I liked, I wanted the black and white together. And I wanted the pink next to the black. So that's how I did it. And I'm like... Half-ish done with this. Nah, no, not really. <laughs> maybe a third. So I have this much border left. I don't know. Maybe it is big. I don't know. I think I'm comparing it to his slip extravaganza, which was last year's, and that one is like a beast. I do want to knit that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to get myself into when I start that, but. So here it is. So yeah, did not like that crisscross section. But now this part is easy breezy. After I got to like the stripe, I didn't have to look at the pattern anymore. Still don't have to look at the pattern. I'm doing uh, the weave in Steven because oh man, that's gonna be so many ends to weave in. Not going there. I think pretty much all of them are, um, I did the Weave and Steven. There might've been a few where I'm like, I was trying to focus on not dropping stitches. So I went back and um, weaved them in, but 
so far they're all woven in. And this is the back. I did mess up one of the sections. But like I said, it's fine. I don't know why us as knitters, we always have to point out our flaws and our oopsies. When, you know, probably nobody in the world is gonna see it. They're just gonna look at this and go, whoa, you made that? <laughs> So I'm hoping to have this done this week. I'm gonna work on it. Pretty much worked on it all day yesterday, except to make these. So I think I'm gonna focus on this today and see if I can finish it. Oh, look at this. So yeah, I'm hoping to finish it and block it and then I can show you it in all its glory. Off the needles and with no dangly fringe. <laughs> All right, where'd my needle go? There it is, cannot drop stitches. Okay, it's in the bag now, I put it away. All done. All done. All right, now we're gonna, I do not have any stash. That's very good, well kind of, I did buy some but it's not here yet. So we'll talk about some dream knitting and some future cast-ons, which is, is that both? <laughs> All right, the sock whip, the new sock I'm gonna cast on, I had people vote and up was the winner from Desert Vista Dye Works. Up. So I will be casting this on tomorrow. And potentially, I don't know, these are gonna be folding socks, so I really don't think I'm gonna have, I'm probably not gonna have a finished sock object next week. That'll be another first. So if I get crazy, or if I finish my shawl sooner than I thought I would, um, it's going to be Christmas sock knitting time. Oh, look at this. This is West Yorkshire Spinners. Signature Sparkle 4-ply. Let's see. This is Fairy Lights Sparkle. This was a Christmas color probably a couple years ago. I think I bought this last year. I think they added sparkle to it when they first released it. I don't think it did. So I think I want to cast these on. I don't know if it's going to happen this week. Yeah. And these are probably going to be for me because those are kind of wild and crazy. That green and red and blue. And what was it like burgundy color, raspberry color? Oh, they're going to be exciting. All right, and then I said, well, it's almost November, and that means it's almost Advent knitting time. So I think it's time to break out my cozy memories blanket. I did not work on it, but I'm going to bring it out to show you because I realized something. I'm glad I realized it now instead of on December 1st. So this is my cozy memories blanket. I really want to finish this this winter. It's gonna happen. It needs to happen. I need to have this done. I might um, like finish it, like finish all the squares and then like for stash dash, I might do a border on it so I can kind of cheat and count it for stash dash. <laughs> but oh, yeah, this thing is huge. All right, so I was like, I think I had to clean or something. I had to move it. So then I'm like, oh, I'm just going to open this and just oh, say, oh yes, I need to work on this. So I did that and I realized, I can't even find what row I'm on. Here we go. This is really hard to show. So here is the end of one row. Toot, 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 toot. And then look, I stopped. I stopped mid row. Probably because it got too hot. 
So I, I like to add a square on a day. I think this year. I have an advent calendar that my kids made me out of my scraps. I think I'm just gonna knit one square a day in December with that calendar, advent calendar. I have two other ones, but I have, one of them might be another Stephen West scrappy shawl. And the other one, I'm not sure yet. Maybe they'll both be scrappy shawls because you all know I love my scrappy shawls. <laughs> so I need to finish this row before December 1st. How many squares is that? One, two, three. Fifteen. So in November, I need to knit at least 15 squares. I don't know, maybe I'll do a square today. It is Scrappy Sunday. Oh, I want this blanket on my chair. Oh, on Bertha. Me and Bertha chilling and knitting. <laughs> Bertha is my chair, my recliner that if you are new. So yeah, oh, this thing's heavy. It's like a weighted blanket of gloriness. So yeah, the plan is only one square a day this Christmas. Last Christmas I think I did three and that was a bit much. And plus I have two advent skeins. One came in the mail today, my freckled whimsy one. Oh, I really want to open it. I'm not going to open it. I'm going to be good. But I was like, wow, that came, I think that came on Friday. Like she is on it. So I have, a, I have to have that sit in my house for a whole month before I open it. I know the mail's kind of slow right now, so I feel, I feel like my other calendars, if they don't arrive on the first, it's fine. Because I'm just going to open them and say, ooh, that's pretty, and put them in a big pile and figure out what I'm going to do with them later. So, yeah. It's, I need to work. I think I need to put a square in this. Oh. And I keep finding my kitty hair in here. I don't know if it's from my cat. I miss my kitties. I know my... My mother-in-law has cats, so I don't know if it's their cat hair. I can't tell. But, oh yeah, here's my socks that I'm wearing right here. <laughs> oh. Now that I have this out, I think I want to do a square. Oh, but I really want to finish my schlography. Oh, I'm torn. We'll see what happens. I know it takes me first square might take me a while because it's like I haven't done these in forever so I'm gonna have to go back and look at my pattern I did the coziest memories by Kemper Ray I'm gonna have to find my needles yeah I think yeah I weaved in all my ends except for the top so yeah I must have got like I probably wanted to finish the row but it was just like it's too hot I can't I can't stand it Oh, I missed one. <laughs> now I'll go back and fix that. That's hilarious. I'm like, yeah, I weaved in my hands. Look, there's one like way down here. <laughs> I like to wait until it's like four to weave them in. It's just easier that way. So yeah, that's the plan. I want to put a square. I got to do 15 squares in November before December 1st so that I can, when I open my advent calendar, I'm gonna put a square in a day for December. And then after that, I think I'm really gonna focus on this blanket this winter because I, like I said, I really, really wanna finish it because I want to use it. All right, we need to do reading and watching. It's going to be real fast because we didn't really watch a lot. Reading, I finished The Christmas Pig by J.K. Rowling. It was very cute. I also read Coraline, another classic, and Sky Hunter. That one was 
It was all right. Not my favorite sci-fi dystopian. It was a YA novel. All right. Oh, and I'm just starting. I think I maybe, maybe read one page, two pages. The Glass Hotel. This is the person, the same author that did, um, oh, no, I can't think of that book. Is it Station Eleven? I think it's Station Eleven. It's her newest book, so I'm going to start that. Watching, I don't know where our TV time has gone this week. Maybe my husband's been playing a lot of video games and I don't remember, but we've been watching Another, Another Life. That is a show on Netflix. Um, season two. I think we're about halfway done with it. We're both like, meh. We really don't, we're not into it, but we don't have anything else to watch. So, yeah. We might start watching Sherlock with, um, again, names. Cumberbatch. That version. That's probably next on our list. And I am continuing continuing with Lucifer season two. So good. So yeah, that's reading and watching. Life stuff really hasn't been much going on. Look at, I said it was gonna be a short episode when we're at 36 minutes. I don't know, I guess I should stop saying that, right? <laughs> Life stuff, it has been rainy. The weather, it has been rainy and cold and cloudy and horrible. The sun is out today. I think the high today is gonna to be 55. And then like next week, like the highs are like maybe mid 40s. Like they're barely gonna hit 50. And I'm like, ooh, winter is coming. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of been a boring week. We had no appointments or my kids are going to start swimming again. My youngest decided that she wanted to do it, to try again. So, of course, they both want to do swimming. We thought we could get them both on the same day, but they split them up. So one's on Monday and one's on Wednesday. So that's a bummer. Whatever. So I was like hoping, I was like, oh, if they go swimming. This way my husband will take one kid and then the next day my husband will take another kid so I'll have a kid at home with me. So that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh well. Oh. I have to rearrange myself. I should have done that sooner. My feet are falling asleep. All right, so yeah, my plans this week is try to finish that holography. Cast on those DVD socks, Desert Vista Dye Work socks for November. Probably start doing squares, just one a day. Yeah, that I think I'll do that. I'll try to do that one a day. The weekends are probably going to be a little hard to do it because sometimes we have plans and whatnot. So maybe I'll try to like maybe do two on the Sunday or something. Or just, I only have to do 15, so if I skip a few days, it's not a big deal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna start on that. I'm glad I noticed that now instead of on December 1st, because then I would have to do two a day. <laughs> um, I feel like there's, is there something else? I don't think there's anything else. Nothing else, just hanging out. I guess I will end it here. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put them down there. I do love reading them and interacting with you guys and gals. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I was gonna say something else. If you, um, if you enjoyed this podcast, I would like it if you could subscribe. And if you want to share it, anybody else that you would think that would like to watch go for it 
And yes, I do appreciate everybody that watches and comments and likes and hearts and all that good stuff. I do appreciate it. I do not have, uh, probably like most knitters, every, I don't know, I don't have a knitter that lives next to me. And my family doesn't really care about my knitting. They're just like, oh, you're knitting again. You're still knitting. And nobody, they don't get it. They don't get it. So that's why I do this podcast. So I can share it. Because I know everybody that watches, they get it. So. I appreciate everybody that sticks around and watches my weird, awkward YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. I'm going to end it here and hopefully I will see you next week. Bye.